So today let us see how to file an RTI. An RTI is a Right Information Act 2005 through which we can apply and get access to all the data from public institutions. An RTI is a very powerful tool to hold the government accountable for their actions. Uh, not just the government, any public institution which runs on the taxpayer's money. So to file an RTI, we have to first go to the RTI website. This is the RTI website, an RTI online.gov.in. So once you go to the RTI website, this is the interface. So to submit an RTI, you can go to the submit request tab and click. And you just have to click the, I have read and understood the above guidelines and click submit. And you will go to the RTI request form. In the RTI request form, you have to fill in the details and ask the questions that you want to ask. So, for example, uh, if you want to get information from a public institution, for example, let us say a particular public institution like a university, like an IIT. So, you have to type the name of the institution. So, like you see, uh, once you type, this is not showing IIT all the IATs. So let, let's give the full name. Indian Institute of Technology. So now all the IATs are shown and let's say I want to ask IAT Delhi about some data. I am selecting. A pop-up will show asking for confirmation. You click OK and now it shows that the Department of Higher Education is the ministry and IIT Delhi is the public authority. Now we fill the details and as we go down here is where we give the text of the RT application. It's always better to write your questions in a number. For example, the first question is like uh, how many students are currently studying? IIT Delhi. So this is a direct question through for which you know that the institute will have an answer. So one of the things is that we have to be very careful in filing the questions that the institute should have the data in the required format that we are asking. Otherwise they will tell that this data is not existing and they will just reject the RTA. So we have to be always careful what we ask. Uh, one, there are multiple strategies of asking questions. For example, let us say we want the institution passed a rule, uh, which we know is very arbitrary. How to hold them accountable is we can ask for minutes of the meeting through which that particular decision was taken. For example, uh, let us say ask provide the minutes of the meeting where the mess. Uh, where the new mess tender was discussed or for example if there's a fee hike where the fee hike decision was taken so in such cases they will be forced to provide the RTI uh, for, for the data in the RTI or else they will have to give you the uh, write back that such data does not exist which means that they didn't have a proper meeting or consultation for taking the decision so these are ways through which we can actually know um, another uh, rta will be like uh, for example let us say we want to know the uh, how many students applied for phd in 2023 or 2022 so now the thing is they will just give an answer in one number so but if we want to have a uh, detailed uh, application and, uh, and detailed data uh, and we have we can make our job easier in sorting through the data because they have the sorted data when we ask questions directly like this they will just give a number and close it so it's always better to ask for tabulated structured data for example, we can say provide the data in a in tabulated form uh, department wise 
semester wise category wise um, so this will make sure that they will have to provide the data in the particular format that uh, it has like will help us analyze better and if they don't we can always apply, uh, ask in the first appeal to get the data sorted like that now one interesting thing is that for example this is for getting the information from a particular institution for example if you want to get from a group of institution that comes under one particular department you go have to apply one level higher in that case we have to actually instead of giving the public authority as the uh, institution you give this department as the public authority so and go the, to the ministry level so we take ministry of education as the authority and we will take department of higher education as the uh, ministry of education as the ministry and department of higher education as a public authority then we can ask this question uh, how many students applied for phd admission in each iit where so the single rta will be now converted to multiple rtis and sent to all the iits and uh, we will get response from each iit separately and here also we can say provide the data in a tabulated format so once you fill it uh, there is another thing uh, each rta application cost 10 rupees uh, which after like you click the submit button you will be taken to a uh, payment portal where you can pay the fee online uh, but if you are below poverty line then then you can give your bpl card number and uh, it will exempt you from paying the 10 rupee rti application fee so once you file the rti you will get an rti registration number which uh, you can actually use for your second up uh, if your you, your first appeal so what is first appeal so after 30 days of uh, submitting your rti request if there is no response from the concerned authority or if they give misinformation or they give partial information uh, or they deny having the data and you are basically unsatisfied with their response you can use uh, the first appeal the first appeal can only be the uh, the link for the first appeal for the particular rt registration number will be active only after 30 days so after 30 days you go to the submit first appeal form and you enter your rta number for example this is one example rta number and you provide the email id through which we registered and you provide the security code and then it will take you to a similar page just as we saw uh, where we have to fill in the details of why we are like uh, why we don't uh, we are not satisfied with a particular response from the authority so we have to cite the reasons why we feel that this particular response is not satisfactory and if we can show through some document that like there is contradiction within the data we can upload the document along with it and we can again wait for one month to get the uh, response so the for the all the rta requests and the first appeals uh it, all the information of how many requests and how many first appeals how, how what are the responses everything can be accessed through the view history tab so if you click view history basically you will have to fill in your number and uh, email id and you will get an otp in your email id and once you submit it you will be taken to this page uh where you will be shown all the rta requests that you have filed Uh, which are these are the registered and these are the responses basically which have been responded and these are the pending for which there has not been any response and these are the appeals that you have filed uh, again the appeals that were registered or appeals that were disposed of and the appeals which are pending and uh, when you click it it will take you to the page where like you can it will be showing the entire list of all the uh, appe- uh, all the requests that you have submitted similarly for each of the other uh things and it will basically show you how many you have actually filed and uh, by clicking it you can it will take you to that particular page of that rti and if you click the st- status uh here it will show the response of that particular rti and you can uh like as- order it ascending or descending on your convenience 
now uh, if after the submission and first appeal you are still unsatisfied with the particular response then you have to go for the second appeal which is not such an easy procedure uh, for second appeal you have to see this complaint and second appeal to cic link at the bottom of the page once you click it it will take you to the central information commission page where uh, you can actually submit the appeal so in the second appeal So you click the submit complaint yeah you click submit complaint and in that uh, we can see the online complaint form in the online complaint form we fill the information that are being asked the details of the application the copy of rt application can be accessed from here uh, in from here this is when you click here it will show the rt application and uh, after that the cpio details will be at the bottom of the rt application uh, the nature of response so these are the four reasons uh, through which we can claim that uh, we are unsatisfactory with the particular response and this is the reason why we are actually filing for the particular uh, second appeal. So this is regard to the request and why we are not satisfied with that. This is the first appeal. Uh, who are the first appellate authority? Again, the details will be there in the status. Uh, then we have to provide the complaint and uh, up upload the information if there are any supporting documents and we can write the complaint of why we believe that this particular uh, the way the first appeal was uh, rejected or not found was found unsatisfactory we can write the complaint and upload here and upload an id proof and submit so once we submit a case will be registered uh, by us uh, in the central information commission and uh, that case will go to a hearing if they find that the particular our complaint needs to be resolved and there is substance in our complaint and this is a very long procedure because like we have to upload all the documents separately and uh, then the, the amount of time that will take for the complaint to get to a hearing uh, my experience is like it takes almost a year to actually get a hearing but yeah so the from request to first appeal uh, there is like um, one month from first appeal to second appeal again one month and from second appeal to hearing one year so this is the length of timeline that normally follows through this but this is one of the most strongest uh, tools a citizen have in getting our rights and uh, holding the public institutions accountable for their actions